hey guys welcome back to my channel so um in this video it's not gonna be me it's gonna be all about Taz so this video is how I clean his cage I had already cleaned it because it's kind of been a while since I've cleaned it up because I was expecting to get a new cage for him a bigger cage because this one is too small um as you can see things are kind of crammed up um I had it positioned a different way, but I'm trying to get him to use his bathroom. So it is, um, it's like has to stay like that because he pees. He used to pee in his little, his little sandbox, the little yellow bear looking thing, the hamster. Um, and it used to be in the corner. And so I did change a little bit of things in here and I'll go over it. Um, the first thing I do is I will clear out all his cage. Um, I'll leave the shelves up because those are a nightmare to put in. But I will take everything else out. Um, and then I will wipe down everything with just um, a cloth with water. Because you don't want your hamster to be like in something that it can lick. And you know, eat and die from or get really sick from it. So I just use water and um it like it takes everything out um and so um the main reason i put in his little bathroom right now is because um i just when i was cleaning it i said this is going to be so much easier to clean if it just gets used to his bathroom and starts so peeing in there i know most of them don't end up pooping in there but i don't mind that um but like just it just it's gonna be less time to clean and it's just gonna be easier and I really want him to do that so we just you know just like I feel like it's just cleaner um and so after that I will take out everything I will wipe it down and clean it um and I will check his water like refill that I'll change that out I will change out his food and um, over there in that other bowl, there's like, um, I put vegetables in there or fruits or um, just treats because he's just so small. He can't really finish up his treats because I feed him twice because he's a good boy. Um, but like, that's probably just like once a week, like twice a week, I give him um, a treat. And if he doesn't finish it, like, I'll just toss it in there in case he's sleeping, like he is right now. Or if he's running on his wheel or he's, you know, just doing his business. Um, so after I wipe down everything and fill everything back up, I will place it anywhere. I try to keep the cage the way um, it was before, but um, this is the only time I actually changed it because I did buy him new things but I didn't expect them to be this large so uh it kind of looks crammed but I said I'm gonna use them in the other cage but that's not I don't know when I'm gonna get that so I thought it was cleaner like he did have another bowl like for his food it was it came with the cage it was a like a plastic little bin a yellow bin um but these are the bowls up here are glass and I feel like those are going to be cleaner and easier to handle and I just feel like it makes the little cage look nicer and I also got him down here are his little two toys that I put in for him and his little uh, hideout that like he can eat because he only has his house up there I did take that out before and I put I did put like the little shower his little sand shower up there so I could leave room and so he know, knows that he pees like down at the bottom. But he went up there and he saw that I wasn't there and he was upset. So I had to put it back in there. And I put bedding in there because he does sleep in there too. And um, I did for the little bathroom, I put like a little chips in there too. Uh, I did get low on the bedding though because I didn't have a lot left and need to go and get more but he just needed to get his cage changed so I have to go ahead and do that now and yeah that's basically it it did take a long time but after you clean it up and make it look nice it's not bad at the top over here is just like his little 
he just his little balcony he does come up here and he just sit up here sometimes um but sometimes he thinks he can fly so i have to shut it and up here is how i reach his food and his water since it opens and then there's just a door right here on the side so to get to that and it is a little bit harder to get to this the other case i want is is a little bit easier i'll do a video on it but that's how i clean this cage i wipe down everything i clean everything out and i um just rearrange everything and that's basically it it's not super difficult but that's my version of cleaning the cage so um I did, I wanted to split this video into two things, like twice of how I clean his cage and what I have in his cage. So that's how I clean his cage and now I'm just gonna go over what I put into his cage and what I use. All right, so this is one of the items. This is the food that I do feed him. Um, this is the only food, I don't combine it with anything else. I do put him, I have like a little, like a lid of like a, a Victoria or a Bath and Body Works perfume and I clean that out and I put it in there like for a little scooper and I'll take like a cup of it and then half of a cup and that completes it and I'll leave it there so he finishes it even though he likes to stuff all the food in his cheek so I think that he ate it but now I know his little trick so that's not gonna happen anymore <laughs> this is another item that I use it is um Brewer's yeast, I put it in on top of his little vegetable or whatever I put in that second bowl so he can get more of his vitamins. I did see a girl use this in a video, but I did get this out of there. I honestly don't know what it was, but I was just watching a bunch of videos to know like how to take care of Taz more. This is the sand, like the bath sand. I guess it's not really considered sand, it's like powder. I don't have the box for it. I got it as soon as I got him. I took it out of the box and I threw it out, threw it out. And I don't know what the name of it is, but when I get my next, next, um, what's it called? Bag, and I do another video, I'll make sure to mention that in there. Okay, so the next thing I have is obviously water. You always want to keep your water at room temperature for, uh, that's just what the hamster wants or I think whatever any small animal needs. So I just keep this in his drawer so no one like drinks it or puts it in the fridge. So this is his water and I get a different one like as I maybe when they get old and I just put it in the drawer and when his water gets low and I just refill it up with this water. Okay, so this is the litter that I use for his cage. Since that is the first time I am using the little um, potty for him, I have not got to use this yet. What's in there is similar to this. This is how it looks on the inside. But this is going to be the litter that I'm going to be using for him. So I do have three treats for him. These are the first ones I got, and they're just like cheese yogurts and they're like more on the healthy side for him but he barely eats them he just like I don't know I don't know if he likes them but like from what I've seen I don't know today I opened these up they're like dried fruits and I fed him a banana I fed him two bananas today and he ate those pretty quickly so I think he's gonna like these more than he's gonna like the yogurt but I'm gonna try to feed them to him and see if he ends up liking them because I don't want them to go to waste. So the last thing I have are these little biscuits. I know people can home make their little treats and that's really cool. But these are the only three I have. Maybe sometimes in the future I can do that. But that's it for now. So that's basically it for what's inside of his cage. I um, might have different things in the future but right now that's the only thing i have all right so that is all for this video i know it was kind of short i wasn't in it hopefully i'll be in the next one um so before you all yell at me for having a small space because i know that's been something that's been going on with um i think pet tails or something something that pet smart is doing this is not a pet smart cage i got it off a site well i got it off chewy which is 
by PetSmart, but it's not by the Happy Tail or whatever, that site that is making all the little cute, tiny, weird cages that have those tiny tubes that look like the, the hamster is about to get stuck. Um, but this is my cage right now. It is not that huge, but I do have balls for him. He runs around throughout the day. Uh, he is just sleeping right now because I had him out all day while I was cleaning his cage. Um, but this is what I have right now. It's cleaned and he's happy. I'm happy. So this is what we're dealing with right now. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll try to do more videos with Taz. And if you want to become part of the Stars family, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video because this one is over.